um, 50 50. I had a lot of stepmoms. So oh. <laughs> you said a lot of stepmoms. <laughs> <They're in and laughs> <out. laughs> what about stepdads with your mom? No. No? Nope. Okay. Well, they've been married for 26 years. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I grew up in a two-parent household, but not like a good two-parent household. So, <laughs> same, yeah. twenty-eight. Well, yeah, like just so they know, did you grow up in a two-parent or a single parent? Same. Um, mostly it was just with my dad. My mom left when I was in high school. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but it goes to show that uh, this is something that we like to talk about all the time. A single-parent household that's risen by the father doesn't have near the negatives that a single parent household with a mother sometimes and you're an example of that being yeah, a doctor and everything well that, that anything, is true so. because actually my mom passed when i was one so i only had my father so, oh. so i can see that point yeah that's why you're so damn based <laughs> jesus christ makes yeah. sense um uh i want to know just real quick does the underwear they wear matter do you care about a guy's underwear no, that he wears no he can have the whitey ties on you don't give a shit i don't care okay it matters it does matter it matters <laughs> you'd, you'd leave matters. him alone if he had the whitey tidies <laughs> What's yeah, your preference? I don't, not briefs. <laughs> not yeah. briefs. Not briefs. Nothing that looks like speedo. Nothing that looks like a speedo. Yeah, okay. Agreed. Questions. Agreed. It matters. Huh? I don't. You think it matters? Yeah. That's Does it matter? Friend. I have never really thought about that. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, hey, this is a different panel. You know, I never had a picture, and I'm like, hey, yeah, no, this is crazy. I, really I haven't want thought about that. I don't I'm, have an answer. I'm really, really happy don't. that this is a panel. Where we had two girls say that they didn't care because most of the panels all said they cared a lot. So that's really cool that yeah, yeah y'all just proved my theory wrong. I always like, thought it was a way looks, bigger it, deal. Sometimes it can look kind of feminine, and there's like kind of right. Like, there's, uh, that's, like, that's, like, that's questionable. You got yeah. other, yeah. other but, questions. Follow that. But you also said you wanted a protector over a provider, right? Yes, because I feel like so kind of opposite what you said. Like, I know I'm, like, if I had to be in the situation to be the provider, I could. If I had to provide for mine and my man's household, I okay. could. So but you want like, to protect her. But the chances of me protecting you compared to you protecting me, like, <laughs> I, we're, we're done for. Like, I could do what I can, but at the end of the day, like, <laughs> you are the man. Like, But your protector be... can also get beat up. <laughs> Girl, I'd rather him be getting beat up than okay. me be getting beat up. Like, I'm yeah. not, no, I can't <laughs> protect us. Like, well, 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 what I always like to say yeah. is that, the, like, well, uh, a provider can just buy a gun today, man. Y'all, 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 it's been, it's been three, it's been three or four, it's like been about it. three, four hundred years where like we didn't need, but then I feel like uh, we don't need the, pro we don't need the protector anymore. Exactly. Like for the last three, four hundred years, the protector could be the guy that's a badass with a gun. Yeah, I know right. you've seen the Western what movies, the little skinny dudes with, with their, yeah, bring, the revolvers. Bring the okay, well, if, if, if guns are involved, then okay, yeah, <laughs> then same thing, you're protecting <laughs> and providing. So I changed my answer. Uh, I, I like to ask the guys, uh, since, since you're here, bro, would you rather have a model or a mother? Uh, huh? mother, of course. A mother, of course, man. Yeah, family guy, dude. We're, we're talking that. about uh, marriage. Yeah, marriage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. I mean, I mean, maybe as a politician, a model would look good sometimes next to you, but they would just be shit personalities. So not, it's not in the Republican it. Party. We prefer family values. <laughs> maybe, maybe in a Democratic <laughs> Party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to know: Can your guy like girls' pics on Instagram? Yeah. He can like other girls' pics. Can he like other girls' pics? What is yeah, the picture? I've gotten into no, it with a guy. Oh, bikini exactly. pics. He's like, yeah. I don't bikini. like, what's the picture? You don't care. I don't care. Like a booty pic? Yeah, yeah. Nah. Nah, nah. Hell no. Nah. Nah. No? No. Okay. Yeah. If I, I'm doing the same, is the energy going to be the same? Yeah. Well, not everything's equal, but I it's definitely not, think that, not, but to me, it's a form of simping. So I don't think a guy should do it because it's just like fucking that. simping. Yeah. You're yeah. giving attention to a girl that's never going to fucking it's sleep with you. It's a It is. And I don't like that. I really look down on guys who do stuff I don't like that. Like just commenting, like Liking these pictures is completely unacceptable. It's the yeah. ultimate form of simping yeah. on the You're internet. Getting nothing. Yeah. Nothing is going to come up. Like, this. what if it continues? Now, if you... <laughs> <laughs> what if it continues? It's just he's giving away research. So, like, we all got to understand. I don't see provisioning as just money. I see provisioning as money, energy, attention, time. Your meat. Attention. Your meat. Your money, at energy, attention, and time. So, if a guy is giving out that shit to other women, he's yep. still losing on his provisioning. It's not yeah. just the money. It's completely unacceptable. I mean, yeah, if you completely. like looking at the pictures, look. But there's no reason for you to like or comment. Like, yeah, like yeah, it's completely the, unnecessary. Yeah, that's temptation. Like. So, would you, uh, um, if your man told you that you can't, uh, you have to take down your bikini pics on your Instagram, would you do it? No. No. No, I mean, if he's liking other girls. Wait, wait, wait. Here, hold on, hold on. This is a whole new scenario. <laughs> yeah. And okay, let's okay. say he's the perfect guy. He's a multimillionaire. 
And he's saying, look, baby, I love everything about you, but the only thing I need is you need to take your Instagram down. Actually, or you need to take all your bikini pics down. Would you do Actually, it? I don't mind because I already don't post those type of pics, so I don't even care. <laughs> yeah. I don't care either, but I want to know what your reasoning is. I'll, 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 beach, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you in a second. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll give it to you in a second. But if it's the perfect guy, like, I mean, this yeah, guy who's yeah. asking you, he's six foot tall, he's beautiful. And he's, he's perfect. not doing the same thing. Yeah, he's not cheating yeah, on you or anything. That's, that's fine. You'd be okay yeah. with it? Okay. Taking off. I'm going to take it down. I feel like that's single activity. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take it down. Okay. And I'll explain to you why. You know, So the reason why guys don't like a girl with the Instagram or having those type of pictures is because it's like you're putting a for sale sign on yourself. Like the thing <laughs> is, is that men and women are not the same at all. Like right. you can be like, yo, man, uh, well, why, why, why can he have it? A man using Instagram nine times out of ten, it's probably for networking or yeah. it's probably for something that has to do with business or something like that. I mean, he can be simping and sending the things, but I don't preach guys to do that so we're not talking about mm -hmm. a hypothetical guy that does that but a woman that's using instagram it is only for attention <laughs> it is only for uh trying to leverage it. you gotta understand instagram is the biggest dating app in the world it's not it's not hands it's not any of those things instagram is the biggest dating app in the world like that is how girls mostly get dm like mm -hmm. that you can get flown out there's all types of things that can happen on instagram so you posting those things or you having those things up it's disrespectful because you're advertising yourself to other people and like how many dms do you think you get a day it might only be three or four or five but how many do you think it is yeah yeah, about, about yeah. Five, we'll say five, five times 365. You're looking at like 1,700 messages a year. That's 1,700 opportunities. Now you're right. You're like, I don't take any of them. But all it takes is you taking 0.01% of them, just one of those 1,700, and you and your man can lose his girl. That's so true. when a guy's doing that, he's protecting his woman. He's protecting the relationship. And like also another thing, the reason why is because of hypergamy. Hypergamy means that a woman is always going to try to level up and go to the best man that she can. Yeah. So you can say all day long you're loyal and all these things, but – hypergamy shows women very regularly will upgrade men and it's just it's a very and it's in your instincts once again i don't get mad at women for hypergamy if anything hypergamy makes me work harder right. makes me even stronger man because i know that another man can always replace me if i'm not at the best i can be so i don't hate hypergamy at all i think it's a great y'all are doing it because you want to make sure that your kids are provided for correctly there's nothing wrong with that so, at all wait i have a question though yeah is it because it's a bikini a bikini pic Yes, it's advertisement. I'm telling you because guys will want to like it. Guys will want to DM. Whenever you post okay that picture. But it's okay if I'm like at a beach. And I'm genuinely like asking. I'm not arguing or anything. Yeah. But like if it's okay, it's okay if I'm at a beach with my homegirls in Miami. Well, we'll go to the next question then. I want to ask you now, would you give up girl strips for the perfect guy? No. No? Would you give Honestly, up girl strips no. for the perfect is, guy? Is he also giving up guy strips? Uh, no. He only goes on business trips. If he only goes on – I also go on business trips with my girls. <laughs> No, I mean, okay. <laughs> why? Would uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll say why after the question. I'm not giving that. You want to give up? up? I'm not. Would you give up girl strip for the perfect guy? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is he my husband? Uh, it, well, well no. So, so, so it was for it the perfect guy. He has to be a multi. <laughs> like he's the perfect guy. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you're trying to get the ring. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I can well, okay, but we have to be at a certain level, guy. though. For yes. the perfect guy, for, that yes. Yeah. So, so, so you get rid of, or you give up the girl strips. Yes, but off top. No. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it till then. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Perfect. I okay. So I'm, I'm still not giving it. Yeah. Girls so I'll, I'll explain to you why for the girl strips as well. It's the same thing. You're going and advertising yourself in another country where there's absolutely once again hypergamy is a real thing. And we're there's talking about general like generalizing women as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm saying most girls are not safe for you to do this with. Like if I had a dollar for every one of my friends that let us girl go on a girl's trip and then like they break up later because he finds out that she fucking cheated one of her homegirls lies or or tells on her that's something and that and, and, and on you know how rare that is so you know how rare it is that the girls will actually tell on them most of the time your girlfriends won't even tell on you they're gonna see oh yeah she's just making out with that guy on the phone party in cancun it's no big deal your homeboys it's, ain't gonna do it either. but no what, what i'm saying though but right, what is, right, who right, has it right, but who pursues who who pursues who do men pursue women and or do women pursue men Men pursue women. Okay, so that's why it doesn't – like, that's never going to happen. You can't say that a guy's going to have the same experience. It's not even close to the same. Men pursue women. So you're going to get pursued the whole time you're in Cancun in your bikini at the phone party, and then your dude is sitting back at home just fucking – Sitting there, I'll have it's like I, it, it, you so know what I'm talking wrong? about, and here's the You're thing: right. you know right. what I'm talking. I know women very well. I want you to know something, uh, everybody at this table. I have nothing but women as my friends. All my best You're friends right. my whole life were women. I understand women very well, and I know what y'all do in secret because I've had them tell me. So the thing is, you can sit here and say all day long, girl strips are fine, but I know for a damn fact, for a majority. It's not fine at all. And and most guys should never trust their woman to go do something like that. You're literally